why should you have more than one lens? Because you will have more focal length, for example. This lens right here is 60mm to 15mm uh, kit lens which came with the camera originally. I didn't get the camera with this particular lens but I got it like a part of it. I bought it separately, the kit lens. And the kit lens tops out at 15mm which looks like once it's zoomed in fully like from this to the 15 mil it's comes pretty close and it has some digital zoom as well but if i would want to come here and sit at the kitchen you can still see me but i can zoom farther than this like closer closer than this Th this looks to you guys pretty far away but once i switch the lenses so this what looks like when i switch the lenses this is the other lens 55 millimeters so it's five millimeters further but once it's zoomed in once it's zoomed in like this then you, as you can see I'm pretty close up to you guys there so this means that I can keep my camera a lot further away and still get a good shot of like a subject so that's why you should have two lenses just so you can take pictures or video further away but still get like a close-up shot even though this is far away from me like probably seven meters at least so this works in shooting from a far away scenarios really well So now the comparison is aside, let I tell you a story of my 55 to 210mm lens. So yeah, now I'm gonna go to the city center with the Peugeot and yeah, I still don't know how to fully use this Sony's camera, it has this on the lens itself on the side, it has this weird uh, like zoom slider. I don't know why Sony would it put right there where I place my hand, hand, but I guess I need to use the other hand. So yeah, today's plan is to go to the city center, get a free haircut, and which after I'll go and buy the a longer lens for this camera, the Sony E mount lens for 50 euros, and I have my wallet. Aha! Found a parking spot in which I can keep the car for 12 hours.
thanks to here uh, Fredrikin Street 12B. I knew now look like million dollars. Uh, I don't know. Can you see the back? But I think it as well looks really good. So now I need to go to Espo and get the other lens for this camera. But at least now I look million dollars. trying to sell me the lens didn't hasn't replied me for like 30 minutes and I think it's some sort of a scammer so I'm just gonna go home that's a little bit unfortunate that I need to travel so loop like in not far but like in time this took me like 30 minutes to get here and then 30 minutes to wait now I'm just going to have to go back home empty-handed. But the, st <coughs> the station looks like a disco ball. Like this material that you see right there. It's reflective. Then after I got back to the station where my car was, the seller contacted me and she informed me that she had like a misunderstanding that yeah you can come come back and get the lens. So I got on the next metro which took me back there, I bought the lens and came back and the clock was like six or seven in the evening. I traveled first time there, got back empty-handed, that took me like 40 minutes there, 30 minutes waiting, then 40 minutes to get back. After that it took me again 40 minutes to get there, like because all the meeting was set up and agreed on the the buying process of that lens was quite quick it was like probably 15 20 minutes which after it's again 40 minutes ride back to the metro station where my car was but in the end i got the lens i have finally a really nice lens so that's that with this story i hopefully you enjoyed as much as i did making this and see you in the next one but until then i'm signing off